Rebs are up. Gate is down. Here we go, Kevin Kelly racing into that first turn. The whole Two. shot push comes from the inside, maybe. Whoa! Oh, that bike goes flying down the racetrack with the rider on it. I and it's Caden Braswell with a fantastic start. But he gives it up already to 41 out of Bayside, New York. So Star Racing trying to go back to back here with Moto wins. Braswell back there in the number two spot though. He's still in the mix. Braswell on the left side of your screen. No, that is the 24 on the left side of your screen. That is Dax Bennett, North Carolina rider just a few hours away. So it's Bennett, Braswell in second and third, but your leader out of Bayside, New York. For the moment, oh, we have wow. a challenge for the lead. Yeah, Romano got all kinds of sideways out there and to it's the done. outside of the track. That's Braswell for the moment. Has the pass made? Can he stick it? And Caden Braswell with the pass on Nicholas Romano. Can Romano counter? And here comes Bennett. He will yeah. challenge and he will make the pass on Romano. Look at that. KTM's running one and two. And there's Hawkins back there He's lurking in the number two. three wow. spot. Wow, holy cow. Whoa, take a breath here if you're Nicholas Romano. Caden Braswell with the shocker. Things happening in a hurry out here on lap number one. I, I don't like promise it. you that. Come on, let's talent Hawkins get in the game, my man. Let's he have goes a go. after Romano. I think Romano might be going, what is happening? These guys are all <laughs> over me. Exactly. There goes Hawkins. Oh, and he almost taps him with the rear. We saw what happened with Cooper Webb a few years, weeks back. A few weeks ago, yeah. for sure. Woo! Wow. All right. Who so was that? That was Hawkins and Nick Romano, but your leader is Caden Braswell out of Florida. And he's got Dax Bennett in the number two spot. Romano is third, Hawkins fourth. So Braswell with the whole shot, Jason Wygant, when you head down to the podium to talk to whoever wins this thing, Lord knows who it's gonna be. Gage Linville with a great start. Preston Bass Flug is six. Gavin Towers, that is like some of the, to the top six guys we had ticked off. They're all up front. Very rarely does that happen. Like literally the top six guys that I expected are all up there in the mix exactly. right now. Look at this, there's yep. a look. They almost touch very close there as we look at the replay with Hawkins and Nicholas Romano. Was it wow. Sexton and Webb? Uh, yeah. yeah, it came together like that, yep. Rear tires touch, a man just enough to send him flying. There Cooper Webb took a beat. Great replay there as we catch and touch back in, touch check back in with our leaders. Caden Braswell, kind of shocking everybody. We had him up there in our minds mentally. He should be there, and it is not Levi Kitchen. It is not the 250 Pro Sport. It is the 77 here in the 250B class of Caden Braswell. There's Bradwell, Braswell in the 77. The 24 of Dax Bennett, the Orange Brigade teammate. How about that? Romano now going to take a deep breath here, try to relax for a moment, get things all back in order. Romano on the 41 star racing Yamaha. Hawkins, there comes Linville on the inside of Hawkins. There's Towers right behind him as well. All the boys are in the house now. Top six comprised of the who's who of the OEM superstars. Look at him jumping out of the rut there going after Hawkins. That's Linville. Seen a lot of that. Here they come right in front of us. Braswell, he's not going anywhere. Benix right in the mix. The Bayside New York rider of Romano is third. And Hawkins barely clings on because Linville is just all over. If you don't watch out, Towers will get both of you. And Avery Long on the Honda sitting back there watching all of it unfold right in front of him. Jason. The who's who, the boys are all up front. Yeah, that rarely are happens. about Caden Broswell for sure. We already know Bennick and Romano, they've won a lot of titles here before. They're well established. And Talon Hawkins is, whoa, as we see, Romano almost throw it away. That's just that's just every lap. That happens everywhere in almost every turn. Yeah, we have seen, you're not going to get that rear suspension dialed on this track. We have seen riders swapping side to side all over the place. As we check in with the 41 of Romano in third, he had gotten close to Bennick. And the mistake is trying to go back after Bennick again. And he's got Hawkins, Linville, Towers, Bass Flute, Long, Stice, Leo DeRico. That's your top 10. There is Hawkins on the 71 Husk Varna. 
Uh, it's just there's no clean, smooth area to just take a deep breath and relax. Romano now going after our second place rider, Dax Bennett. There's our leader, the 77 of Caden Braswell. But Bennett actually a little bit quicker the last time around than Braswell. So I think we might have a three rider battle for the lead soon as Romano is starting to stalk Bennett and Bennett is starting to catch your leader. It should be fun. And I think Linville and Towers will push right behind. There you see Linville touching down just behind Romano. Hey, Amanda Abbott, please come into the MX Sports office immediately. We have your child. You're going to want We're this child. We're entertaining. Everything's cool. Amanda Abbott, coming to the MX Sports office. Hey. That is the uh, gray mobile home office unit uh, just off the side of the racetrack near our announcer's tower. Not the tower itself, not our announcer's tower. Not Gavin the Towers. The gray trailer. Amanda Abbott, come on over. We have your child. Liam Neeson is on the way. He has a special set of skills. <laughs> I'm going to get your kid. So Cage Linville has a special set of skills, and he's right there behind the blue Yamaha. He's on a blue Yamaha as well. Gage Linville is all over this whole battle. So many talented guys. We could have three different battle. winners. Romano, side by side. He makes the pass on Benick. Benick looks over, has to give it up. So Romano to the number two spot. Benick pushed back to third. Benick going to try to come back. Gage Linville watching it from fourth. Linville is right there. He had a rough first moto in the earlier B class, so he'd love to make up for lost time there. The 24 of Bennett now about to come under the attack of the number 40 Gage Linville. Towers has locked in on Linville as well. And just a three second lead for Caden Braswell. So this is far from a what happened there. Towers off the racetrack. Towers off the racetrack. Oh, big mistake for Bennett. Yeah. He cased inside the Ten Commandments. Bennett. Oh, and a, a knock knock, <laughs> not on purpose. Foot came <laughs> off the peg for Romano. So he saw a case of a jump for Bennett. Romano a foot off the peg, and Gage Linville taking advantage of this from fourth. He's right there. Well, what a battle. 250 B class, six, seven different guys can win this. Caden Braswell would like to make sure it's he's one of them. Here in this first moto, made the start and made the pass. Had a great start, but was able to make that pass pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty much shocked me. I did not expect him to zap the 41 of Nick Romano. Battle continues. Romano here on the Star Yamaha number 41 with Benick and Linville right there. Wow, look at that leg swag. Throwing it sideways. He's not quite three seconds now. I believe they might have caught Braswell. Wow. No. While making mistakes. Yes, while battling. The there he is. There's your leader right in that turn. Oh, it's going to be good. I see. Was no, no Romano's leading. What happened? I thought I saw a KTM off to the side uh, pushing the bike. There's no Braswell. So Romano will take over the point. I, yeah, I saw Braswell just flash by, but I was like, no, that wasn't our guy. Yeah. He was in the back of Storylands where I saw the KTM. Wow. Oh, so now a complete mix-up here as Romano and Linville has gotten around Bennick. What is happening here? There's Bennick. That's your top three. There's Towers now in fourth on the 15 Kawasaki. Preston Baysflug on the number 28 Honda. And still looking for Caden Braswell. We're trying to pan around and find him. So Braswell might uh, now be in salvage mode if it's even possible. Yeah, he's got to go to work. We got him in sixth place right now. Not That's not terrible, but that flip, he was in first. He should have, he was going away with this. It looked like about three and a half seconds out front. Well, let's see what Nicholas Romano can do. We've seen guys with the lead have problems. Eleven minutes to go now. Just about at the halfway point in this 250B class. Keith Johnson with zero wrinkles on his face. He sits right in front of us. This guy right here, does he not have a wrinkle on his body? The ageless Keith Johnson. He hadn't had a tummy tuck on his head. I don't know what's happening here. I think stretched nice and tight like Dolly Parton. So there is the number 77 of Braswell, and he is going back to work. So Caden Braswell, like we said, having it go his way. 
And now he has got some work to do. And Braswell has a couple of riders right in front of him. He's got Bennick and Base Luke, so he's got a chance at a top three or four finish. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. He, he's definitely picked up the pace. Like you said, there's all kinds of time left. Base Flug and Bennick right ahead of him. They've got to feel the heat right now. We're about halfway through this one, as you mentioned, and uh, they've had their own battle going on, and now they've got another uh, member of the team to deal with uh, right now. I just love all the drama, the chaos back here. They're all so evenly matched, and they know that. <laughs> exactly. So it's like you have to go when you get the opportunity. Exactly. And, and that, I mean, prevent, it, that creates mistakes. And it's an absolute pride thing for these guys. I love it, man. I mean, there's ego involved, pride involved. Uh, you know, he made a mistake. He, I didn't make I a mistake. Capitalize. He crashed. No, I, I got to go. Yeah, exactly. Now, can Nicholas Romano respond to the pressure of being out front, although it's only 2.7 seconds in front of Gage Linville. So Linville absolutely in this one. Trying to figure out if Yeah, nobody's safe passed. right now in this top five. Nobody's safe. So Braswell has gotten Bennick. There's Bennick. He slips yep. back a spot. Braswell now immediately goes to work on Preston Baseflug. And just ahead, you can see Towers. There's Towers, There's yeah. There's Towers right there, He's yep. got a shot at a podium. Absolutely. There's Baseflug on the Whoa. inside. That wasn't Towers, though. That was a different rider no, there. So yeah. Braswell is coming right along with yeah. him. The white balance off here on our screen, we'll call it that. Yeah. Our old eyes. There's Base Fluke wheeling into that rut. That was cool wow. on the 28 Honda. His dad did, did GPs back in the day. Mm -hmm. Pops Base Fluke. That's what they call him. I call him Pops Base Fluke because I, <laughs> I don't know his first name. Mr. Base Fluke, Mr. if you will. Base Fluke. Up and over the peristyle, as we call it, down into that deep rut of tree turn. I he was standing that. on the pegs and put his feet he up did. to avoid the ruts there. Base Fluke did. How about that? There's the 77 of Braswell. Not even jumping the big triple, not really yeah. into it, though. The risk yeah. reward not there for him. He's still making progress. And didn't give up any time None. whatsoever by not doing it. Not at all. There is, I say that's Towers. That is Towers on the 15th. Team Green Monster Energy Kawasaki Rod. Yellow flags now out over the Tunnel of Love, so you got to be careful on that jump. You're kind of blind to those flags, so you come up and <laughs> pop up and see them. So hopefully all those riders coming through the mechanics area. That is Towers. He will look over and see his dad going crazy in the mechanics area, I'm sure. Starting to, see, starting to see some of these shadows develop now, Kevin. Sun is definitely changing. Look at the deficit now. Romano and Linville, one second separating them for the lead. We'll have to try to pick those guys up here. Yeah, where are they at? 1.1 second. We're going into the Ten Commandments with uh, Towers, so they should be out and headed towards Storyland, our Yamaha leaders, Romano and Linville, they should be about to come out of Storyland. Wow, Towers doing work there, as you mentioned. Feet up, down in those ruts, gas on. He's definitely feeling the pressure right now. Oh, there's Towers. There's a look. He went off the racetrack. A near-death experience there for Towers. This is happening every lap for these guys. Wow. That was Towers off the left-hand side of the racetrack. Barely keeps it in the regulation there, if you will. I think line is still in, like in tennis, right? Right. Back to Towers now, live time, real time. I'm trying to pick up Romano somewhere on the racetrack. Towers coming through the beach right now, so Romano is going to be right here. Where at? What is going on? So I believe there's Romano. There is Linville. There they are up and over the big double right there. On. Yep, there we go. There's Being Romano. He's going to have Linville's on the inside dancing with him right now. So they are going to. Really, Kevin? Mid-moto. Mid-moto. He's dancing with him. He likes to dance. Okay. He's got rhythm. He's one of the few guys that has found his rhythm out here on the racetrack. Have they brought Benick with them? No, that's a lap rider right there. Yep. I was looking for the KTM. There's Benick a little bit further back because uh, Towers has moved up. Base flute. Rough one for Benick. Braswell Five, two, salvaging six. back in fifth, so that puts him in the hunt. So your leaders, though, back behind and popping out of the billboards there. There's a pair of Yamahas. Wow. Linville going after a moto win here. I, I don't remember the last time he's actually won a moto, though. No. Always in position, always charging like he is right now. Romano, though, got the pressure on top of him. Like so, a vice just clamping down. Here where, comes Linville. Where do you go? You follow him right through that line. Whoa, little bobble there. Yep. But they all oh. bobble, so it's just, yeah, whatever, no big deal. And there goes Linville. High speed there. Took the same line, made the same bobble. 
and Towers is right there now as well. I kept seeing a Kawasaki. There's Romano Linville, and you're going to see Towers is pop that into Towers? the view. Yeah, he's on the Kawasaki right there on the 15. Yeah, there's a 15. Yeah. Wow. Wow, he picked it way up. Yo-yo effect here. So the lap times were two minutes flat for the top three. Preston basically with a 202, Brazo with a 201. So this track, that tells you how rough it was. Absolutely. We were flirting with 153s, and now we're at two minutes, and that's a great lap time. Yeah, just a few motos ago. Five to eight seconds better on a lap time. Even our flaggers, it's our, our, our cameramen, it's, the track's rough for them. It's kind of hard to follow there. <laughs> it's getting rough. Need to adjust the, the clickers on the camera. <laughs> the braking buffs on those cameras, Need man. To set that sag. So Linville trying everything in the books there, going outside, inside. He's got a shot. Whoa. He's ready to take a shot at your leader on the inside. We've got him right here. Can he make the move right now? Shortening up the racetrack. We've got lap riders now. We still have plenty of time. Four minutes of oh, racing to Lindo go. tries to follow him through. He was going to try to go farther inside. Right now, Romano splitting those lappers. Advantage Romano. He makes it through right there. Linville, they all go wide for him. Wow. Now there he comes back on the attack. Both riders clearing that group they of did. lappers with uh, four minutes left on the clock. This is the meat and potatoes of this race right here. This is... Like, most of these guys can go good for six laps, but it's those seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth laps that the mistakes come, fatigue happens, you make all the big errors on the racetrack mentally and physically. But these guys have held tough. Romano has fought his way into the number one spot. Linville has charged to the number two spot. Braswell trying to salvage back there in fourth. He's picked up another spot. So Caden Braswell, who is winning this thing, going away, back to six, now up to fourth as we exit the Ten Commandments. Two lap card is out. Okay. Two to go in this one, I gotta tell you. All hey, those laps down there in Cairo, Georgia. Yeah. Gage Linville. Right. Brian Johnson yelling at him. Pound out those perfect laps. Give me 20 perfect laps. Well, this is why they make you do that. That's exactly why. And look at the deficit now, even closer than it was just one lap ago. One bike One mistake. Got to move in his head right now. He's got a spot picked out. I think you're right, man. He's watched him for lap yep. after lap. He's got to know where he's a little quicker. Maybe a little help, a little bobble here. Still has to get just a bit closer to pull the trigger on any yeah. of those moves, though. And now oh, look at this. A risky move, but it worked out wow. for him on the inside there. He is right there. The that blue flag is out. Time. And you, you might be cooking right here with gas. He was super close, and there is the pass. There he just is. zapped him. How about that? The number 40 of Gage Linville rocketed right past the 41 of Nicholas. I did not and, see that coming and pulled at all. In front of him. We said he had something picked up. You could tell he had something he was working with. It looked like they sped the footage up the it, way he went past him. It really and here did. comes the Bayside New York rider. He passes him back. back. Answers. Romano answers, goes back around Linville. And White it, flag lap. The time you do it is immediately, as we said, and Romano knows that. Romano's schooled in that education. Whoa. And look at him. Pulls the trigger, puts that 41 <laughs> machine back in front of the 40 machine. The motos, man, it's been moto back to back to back motos of wild, crazy last laps here. So now Nick Romano gets back around Gage Linville. Linville's got to keep it close. Who is that? Oh, we got all kinds of lap rider. traffic coming up, too. Look at Linville. He set himself up to the outside. Yes, he did. He's going to try to go outside, avoid any kind of problems with riders in front of him. He's got the leader right there in his sights. Different lines again. Romano now outside. Wow. Linville carves that racetrack on the inside. I thought Linville was going to take the line from him. It looked, it looked like he like had it. a shot at it, didn't it? I think he's got. He might have another shot at him at that he, same spot. Yep. He's going to use the same move on him. He might go the opposite side. To be quite honest with you, just break his ankles, make him think. He think might about try it. to go deep. You know he's thinking about that it. Corner. So sure he is. Look at this now. He wow. goes right at him. We've got two lap riders now in front of and the 41. Here we oh, go. Race is going to be on now. Oh, and he clears it, though. The 41, Nick Romano able to get around those guys quickly. Linville still hanging in there. Oh, he has to go super wide Oh, in. yeah, that cost him right there. Wow, that was four or five bike lengths. Oh, yeah. This is where he was able to put the move on last lap and uh, just not close enough. Too much of a gap there on oh. this final one. 
Romano answered late. Romano got passed on the white flag lap, answered back immediately, and opened the gap up on Lindell. Wow, that's impressive. Those are intangibles. Those are Cooper Webb style moves there. Yeah, absolutely. And he looks over the checker flag. Nick Romano had to work for that. A fantastic, gritty, gutsy ride by Gage Linville. Gavin Towers finishes third. Caden Braswell will salvage a fourth place ride. Preston Baseflug will finish up fifth. Impressive. Romano goes from second place on the white flag lap to a 3.2 second gap at the checkers. All right, we're going to bring Nicholas Romano on up. Man, that was a great battle. Passing each other as the white flag's coming out. Gage Linville threw everything he had at it and momentarily, I believe, had the lead. But in the last lap, Romano was able to fight and get it back. They're still debriefing under there. Star Yamaha, guys, you have plenty of time to talk about the motos when the moto's over. We're good, we're good. Let's get Nick Romano on up. So, uh, young enough to stay in the B class this year, he was a top five runner with a couple of podiums in B a year ago. So we knew he would be a tough customer here in 2021, and he has lived up to that billing. Gold medal, a rider who's no stranger to this podium here at Loretta Lynn's. Let's hear it for Nicholas Romano. Woo! All right, Nick, you've definitely won your share of uh, motos here, but that was a battle, Gage Linville. I'm not even sure. Take me through those last two laps. That was good stuff. Yeah, I, uh, to be honest, my practice start wasn't good at all. I somehow managed first gate pick, which is the first for here. Uh, I was rare. I was so pumped. And then practice start was all right. Race start was, and I think I came out second. It was just, uh, I was sleeping on the gate. And then, uh, yeah, I went to go into first as quick as I could. And then I, uh, I got past, I think, to third or fourth, like within a snap. Uh, so I didn't have that intensity at first few laps. But then I, uh, Got to an okay pace. Um, to be honest, I really like, really like. I don't know how, like how to. I was horrible out there, but hey, it's all good. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna regroup. That's Moto One. I'm happy to get this, this went out of the way. Riding like that, that was horrific. But uh, yeah, we're happy to be up here and ready for five more. If it's a bad Moto and you still win, that's pretty good. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, Monster Energy Stars and Yamaha. My mom, dad, sisters, um, Bell Helmets. Um, Goggles store, Alpine Star, my trainer goes to Pool, um, team manager Seth, Drew, Trevor, uh, everyone sitting behind me. My new mechanic, Dalton Keevan, he's a, he's a badass. So happy to have him on board and uh, everyone else forgot. Thank you. All right, Nicholas Romano's number one in 250B Moto One. Good stuff. Definitely want to talk to Gage Linville. That was a heck of a ride. Ending up in the number two position. We'll bring Gage Linville on up. And uh, he's got nothing to be ashamed about on that number 40. He actually caught Romano, and boy, did they put in a battle. Like I said, I think momentarily he got the lead just as the white flag was coming out and uh, ends up with the silver. Let's hear it for the number 40 of Gage Linville. I'll tell you what, I know you wanted the gold, but uh, that was a heck of an effort. You caught him. Did you momentarily have the lead there? Oh, yeah. Um we were battling pretty good, and uh, I caught him past him, and he passed me right back. But yeah, it was racing. I had really fun. 
it's a bit of a confidence booster to, to be able to make passes and move up like you did. Oh, for sure. Like I said, I mean, these are the top riders for sure, and to pass them is it's good. You're ready for the next moto. Who do you want to thank, Gage? The good Lord for keeping me safe. My mom, dad, my stepmom, the whole NSA Yamaha team. 100%, Moose, Bell, Monster Army. MTF for everything. They've prepared us this year long, and I can't thank them enough. Rock River, Parts Unlimited, Yamalude, the Blue Crew, Alpine Star, and everybody else I forget. Thank you all. Help me out. All right, there it is. Let's hear it for Gage Linville. Second place. And should be some great racing throughout the week for this 250B title. And it could include this man as well. We'll bring our third place finisher up on the Monster Team Green Machine GT. Bringing it up to the podium. And we will give him a bronze. Let's hear it. Here, turn around right there. We'll give you your medal. Let's hear it for our third place finisher, Gavin Towers. Uh, how was that start? Uh, start wasn't good. I just had a little bobble off the start and didn't get my feet up fast enough to get the first shift. So, keeping my right and my left were getting all sorts of sketchy. Then. So, I just uh, played it smart the first, kind of just the new section really up down that straightaway and um, played it smart through there. Made some quick passes, had some given to me. But, um, yeah, all in all, just got to be a little bit looser. The first motos always seem to get me here, but... Uh, Another one on the box. I'm still just missing that one medal from the top of the box. So just got to get that one this week. Started off strong, though, with third. Who do you want to thank? Um, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, Cindy, the whole Monster Energy Team Green Pro Circuit Kawasaki. They've been working with me out in California with Ivan, Ivan Tedesco, and uh, Darren Stockton, who's been my off-the-bike trainer. Get me in shape because it wasn't for the lack of being in shape. It was definitely just trying to get loose. So um, dumb up tires, hooking up great out there. I, was, I mean, that was just me off the start. That was not them. Uh, Pro Circuit, Mitch Payton, Mike, Monster, Dave, everybody over there, Nixon, um, the, uh, Canvas, MX, uh, Ryan, and Michael Lieb. They've been helping me get this gear dialed. It looks super good. So um, just everybody else, Ryan, Mohead, Jacob, who's Seth Haymaker's mechanic, coming up here to keep, my, keep, me, keep me up to the start. <laughs> Wes Kane, DBK, everybody over there, Twitch, and just literally everybody else who I forgot. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, and I will uh, hopefully get back up here. All right, let's hear it for GT. Gavin Towers taking third.